We've all heard about anxiety, but what is it and how does it affect children? Anxiety is a condition of uncontrollable stress, worry, and nervousness that can be attributed to future events, recollections of past events, or the constant thinking of day-to-day -day activities that persist and feel overwhelming. Sometimes, people who suffer from anxiety are also fearful. This can be a fear of things both real or imagined. For children, it can impair their functioning and interactions with others. It's important to understand that anxiety is a natural part of life. Parents will encounter children working through emotions of fear and anxiety while growing up. However, when these emotions and concerns become too difficult for a child, they may need additional help. What are the signs my child has anxiety? Here are the signs to look for. Your child is excessively anxious and worried consistently for at least the past six months about various things. Your child finds it difficult to control the worry. The anxiety and worry are associated with restlessness, feeling on the edge, fatigue, difficulty concentrating, irritability, muscle tension, or sleep problems. The anxiety, worry, or physical symptoms cause significant distress or impairment in important areas of functioning like school, with friends, family, or at home. The feelings are not due to the physiological effects of a substance or medical condition. The disturbance is not better explained by another medical disorder. This is why it is important to consult and work closely with your child's physician. Be aware of how your behavior as a parent may be influencing their anxiety. Are you doing anything to cause the anxiety? Evaluate yourself and see if you are helping the situation or not. Don't minimize your child's feelings of anxiety. If a child is anxious, their worry is real to them. Minimizing anxieties, even if you believe they are not real, may create more problems. It also teaches them not to trust you with the way that they are feeling. It's also important to understand that your child may use symptoms like these to manipulate a situation. This is where your role as their parent and knowing your child will help how you respond. If you're not sure, treat the symptoms as real. Parents should discuss these issues with the child's medical doctor before seeking out mental health services in order to rule out other conditions. Other conditions may include low blood sugar, medications that the child may already be taking, thyroid problems, etc. The physician can make recommendations for mental health services if needed. Treatment for anxiety can include medication prescribed by your physician, but should also include skills and behavioral training. Skills and behavioral training will help your child know how to respond to their feelings in a more appropriate way. The parenting skills, lessons, and techniques on the Smarter Parenting website helps address how to work with children who struggle with anxiety. They are helpful for parents. Visit the website, watch a parenting lesson, subscribe to our channel.